It's going to build upon itself, I promise you. It's very much shoulder focused today. Bring your knee up, up and down. As your leg comes up, hydrant to the side, that leg up. And if you need to, do this. So now that the palms are up, you're not just going to feel shoulders. She's been very needy lately. Crunch forward as your arms come up. Four, three, raise that leg at the same time. Squeeze in and out. Now, if you just want to use the one hand, and your body directly to the side, you're tipping. I'm using it to help me balance. I'm finding that swinging my arm and really stretch, stretch. stretch. Come on, really reach, feel so much easier than all the others. And up and out now. In towards your lunge, the knee to the chest. Guys, <laughs> this adds up quickly. Pushing through the heel of your hand. The down, push up and down. Push up and down. So it's a hydrant leg extension across the body. Now slightly twist, bring it out and up. Up, down, push up. Down, push up, not many. That's in, keep that arm grazing your rib cage. Down and up, two and one. My legs, if you can't do this, tap down. Legs, if you wanna put your head down when you do your bend and extend with that arm, and maybe switch it halfway through. Down and up, hello mini, down and up. Remember what we were up to. Down and up, down and up, reach and hold, one, one, two, pick it up, one, two, other side, six, five, four, extend, one, two, extend, six, five. So you're just balancing your toes on that ball. We're thinking about C curving the chest forward as we draw the arm back, staying on one side. So you draw it up, five, four, stay twisted and it's a small pulse, our legs. So you need to find lower abs. Of course you will feel your hip flexors a lot here, I know, and or just do single legs. Up and down, up and down. We're going to come up with one leg, up with the other leg. So both arms up, well one leg up, other leg up. Slide your leg up the other calf for four. Tip slightly to the back, slightly to the front. If you can't do this up, we're gonna come out, in, down, up, arch over the ball and up or you the back. For some people, you can kind of look back and three, really crunching, two, from the upper body and from the three and four. Now stay down and really twist, crunch, come on. And if you can't tap your ankle, don't worry. And little tiny crunch, twist, twist, knee. Three, two, crunch down and into it crunched down and drive the knee up. Now, the only reason I have my chair there, go for four, squeeze, release a bit, crunch down, extend the leg, release a bit, crunch, extend, one more, two, one, far out, Brussels sprout, raise, two, raise, overhead and tap, we're nearly done, and tap, and tap, Tap. As the knee comes in, crunch all the way through the front. Up, eight, seven, come on. When you're using your weight, you may need to take that option. Big straight legs. So you bring it to the ground, the harder it's gonna be on those lower abs. Lock it in, I don't want it falling on your head. Push your feet together. We're not gonna do many reps for each round. Three. So you need to decide where to put your hands so that you're not cheating. A little bit, maybe your head's down. Maybe, as I said, you're holding onto a sofa. Or maybe you've got some heavy weights. There to be some instability here, okay? So you're meant to wobble a bit because that's the whole point of having the ball there. Obliques 
to stop you from falling all the way to the side. You've got to really use your obliques. Little walking. Come on, flex five, four, three, reach and reach. I'm clamping my ball in. Up, we're going to come down. We're going to crunch in. Come down, crunch up. Same side, lift leg. If this is too heavy for you with the weight, do it. Two. Last one, eight. Seven. And extend on a diagonal, reach up. Come in, extend on a diagonal. Six, five, four. Side, angling my knees. Angling my knees. Ding the leg. Now, of course, if you're crazy, with a flat back, try not to round your back. As your knees come in, you are rocked down and down. Raise the leg slightly higher. Out, back and back. Pick up the front leg. Down and up. Down with your knees in. Oh my goodness. Four. Three. Just pull up. Pull up. One leg in. Other leg in, are you feeling? So because we're in this C curve position now, it's easier. So the band's actually helping you balance here. Six. Five. Maybe you're sinking a bit lower with your butt. Keep them narrow in by your rib cage. So it's slightly more out to the side. Extend and lift the leg higher. So you're already in and front, in and back. Bunch together, in and back, in and front. Crunch it, in, crunch. And out, crunch, in and out. Last time, down, crunch. Lean back in your step, the down, 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 meet it, out and in. I've got my legs bent, in and out. So just do this for now. And now it's a little bit harder on the step. So maybe flex your feet. Come up to your shoulder and then down, single. Nice tall spine, long neck, double and just keep it a bit smaller. It's so tough. Maybe you are helping yourself with your other hand a little bit. Side. You missed out on a rep there. Front and side. Can you tap your elbow to your thigh? Not to the ceiling. Lift. I'm letting you tap your leg all the way down. Your back into your support. And then up. Two, three. One, two, three. Down and up. Keep going, down and out and switch it. Come on. To the core and just move those arms. You're going to be wiggling a bit. Legs and some upper abs as you kind of crack like the entire time. But if you can't do that, then just touch down. Maybe you need to just touch down the tiniest bit. Stretch to the side and come up. Front, come in, push in on the weight. Across and across. And around, angling your body. Up around angle and come down. Come up around and down. Come up around and down. Pick it up. Across to the other side. One more and stay here. Come. Okay, so it's down. It's up and Push overhead. Squeeze your elbow down, lift your hip. Pulse, lift the hip and pulse the elbow. So you're pulling and controlling on the way up. And you're doing like a back row. Pull in, pull in, pull back at shoulder height, pull back. Float the leg if you want, can be bent or straight. Pull back, down in front, down behind towards your shoulder, so it's a two in one. Now really try to keep, it's gonna be tough people. Maybe hold on. Pulse up, two, three, release slow. Up, two, three, release slow. 